Good day, everyone. We're here at McKinley Hill, Venice Piazza, and I am with a very uh, legendary chef, Chef Carlos, and he's opening this uh, new restaurant of his, the Brew House. Hello, chef. Thank you so much for Nice to meet you. Me. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> All right, so chef, uh, so the Brew House, uh, why did you name it the Brew House? We named it the Brew House because basically it's, we wanted it to be your local pub. So we wanted to be the local pub of all the residents, all the, all the office workers in the area. We wanted to be the place where they drop by for a drink after work, have something warm and comforting to eat for lunch or after work. Perfect, you know, it, we wanted it to be very non-confrontational non and just a simple place where you can feel comfortable to drop in, you know, like, so chill, like cheers. Relax. All right. And uh, that's a why place, the... A place where everyone knows your name. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is a good place. I'm red, by the way. <laughs> All right, so of course I want to talk about your food. I, I, I've seen your board. There's a lot of really exciting dishes here. So, uh, what is your like your main cuisine for this one? So basically, what we've decided to do here is all about comfort food. Comfort food. Yep, definitely. So everything here, everything here is comforting. Everything here is like your mom giving you a hug on a bad day. <laughs> oh yes. There you go. So it's like uh, when you go here, it's like. I need to eat something at the brew house yes. because I feel bad. Yeah. yeah it's like a depressed... But don't, don't just come here if you feel bad. <laughs> no negative vibes, all right? No, and just I, I noticed a food truck here, Chef. Uh, why do we have a truck here inside the restaurant? Well, I mean, I always take my trends from overseas. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for the last few years, a lot of the, a lot of the drinking food has been coming from trucks. Mm -hmm. Um, logistically, here in the Philippines, it's difficult to have a food truck. So what I decided to do was bring one to my restaurant and build one into my restaurant. Literally, inside the restaurant, yes. there's a food truck. So a lot of the good comfort food from overseas is coming from food trucks nowadays. You've got some very good chefs that are like classically trained in fine dining restaurants mm -hmm. that have decided to go and do their own thing in food trucks. Yes. I'm sure everyone's seen that movie, Chef. Yes. So basically... You know, this is my concept where I can play around with different ingredients as well. So how long is uh, the brew house running? Uh, the brew house has been, it's, it's, it's very new. We've only been open for maybe a month and a half. A month? Well, I am very much lucky. Oh, you are very lucky. <laughs> very lucky to try some of our new stuff here. Yes, and uh, later, uh, Chef is going to make me cry. Okay. Oh, yeah. Promise. Uh, you're going to know why later. But of course, uh, I want to talk about more about the brew house. So what time do you open, Chef? Actually, we open at 7 a.m. Wow, very early. Yeah, well, we have to, you have to understand that we have a lot of call centers in the area that oh, see yes, them work the overnight shift. And sometimes they want to come for a drink or something to eat after work before heading home. We're open for them as well. Oh, that is uh, there's a, good a few. Advocacy, you know? Yeah, and, and then also the residents in the area, you know, maybe they want to drop by and have some breakfast on the way. We have an all day yes. breakfast section to our menu. Yes, uh, actually, I ate tap silog. A while ago, of course. And uh, looking at our chef is uh, our chef here is uh, very foreign, but he makes really good breakfast tap silog, tos silog, long silog. It's really good. So. I am Filipino after all. Really? Yeah. He is. Okay. Doesn't look like that. <laughs> all right. So uh, okay. So chef, you're open at 7 a.m. until what time? Um, we close 2, 3 a.m. Okay. So we have, we have a long operating schedule. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we really want to be your neighborhood, be your neighborhood pub. So um, that's why we've called ourselves Brew House Pub and Eatery. You know, come by for a drink, drop by anytime. We'll be open for you. That's wow. the idea. Thank you so much for opening this one, Chef. So uh, later you're gonna teach me how to make. Yeah. The we're gonna get you in the kitchen. And we're gonna show you how to do a few things. All right. I know you guys are excited for that. But before that. Chef, I would like you to invite our viewers here at the Brew House. Everyone, please come and try our fantastic takes on comfort food here at the Brew House in Venice Piazza, McKinley Hill. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Chef Carlos, of course, of the Brew House. Welcome back to Cook It Right, guys, and as promised, Chef Carlos is going to teach us one of their best sellers here at the Brew House. So, uh, Chef, what are we making for today? Today, we're going to make some ghost wings. So, ghost it's time wings. to put you to work. All right. Wait, am I supposed to be nervous about this ghost wings? There's a, like, 
There's something about this, right? That's we'll, gonna... we'll worry about the waiver later. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let's get to cooking them first, <laughs> okay. and we'll make you sign the waiver before you eat them. All right, okay. What we have here is we've breaded some chicken. Chicken wings? Some before. chicken wings. They've been brined overnight. Mm -hmm. Now they're, they've bre they've been breaded in our secret uh, chicken breading. Okay, well, what is the secret? Oh, yeah, I can't tell you that. <laughs> All right. If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret anymore. Yeah, good point. All right. So, Chef, uh, after a few minutes, you're going to toss that with your, your uh, ghost sauce. We call it a ghost sauce, ghost glaze or something? Yep. Right after they come out of the fryer, they'll be in there for about 12 minutes. We're going to put them in our ghost wing sauce. Ghost wing sauce. So, I'm just going to show them the ghost wing sauce. Yep. So, hopefully, you guys can smell it and it hurts my nose. Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a fair bit of chili in there, so be warned. All right, all right. Is this tomato based? Not really. Not really? Okay. I'm it's more there. chili based. Okay, so we're just going to wait for the wings and then this one is going to be next. Right? Yep. So the next part of this, we're going to take our sauce and we're just going to warm it slightly in a pan. Yeah, slightly because it's going to be spicier if you warm it too much. <laughs> all right. And that's just going to hang out there until our chicken is ready. So Chef, what do you serve with the chicken? That one? We just serve it with a nice little blue cheese dressing. All right, yeah. Where's the challenge in there? But I'm going to promise you guys that when I'm going to try the wings, I'm going to have some syrup, maple syrup, beside me. Just in case. All right. So Chef, right. this one is done. Yep, so we what just pull them out. Expect? Get the oil off them. We're gonna get them in some little absorbent paper to get the rest of the oil off them. Beautiful color. Yep, yep, nice color. Just toss them through. So just toss it with a little uh, toss like that. Mm -hmm. And then now we're gonna get them into our ghost wing sauce. Basically, we're done with this one, and uh, I'm excited and at the same time afraid of what's gonna happen in a few minutes. Well, we're just gonna get very liberally coated in our very nice okay. ghost wing sauce. Normally I taste that, but uh, Chef doesn't want me to taste it first, so it's going to be a surprise. Yeah, right? of course. All right, so we're done here, and I am scared. So, next part of this, now that they're all nicely coated, a mm -hmm. little bit of spice there, a little bit of heat, and we're just going to put these wings straight in the basket parsley here and then blue cheese dressing blue cheese ranch mm -hmm. so yeah we just tuck these in here on the side and these are ready to go there you go Okay guys, so we've just finished making the ghost wings and I am, like I was saying earlier, uh, I am nervous about this so I, I had some sugar syrup, some iced tea and if this couldn't, I couldn't take it, if I couldn't take it, I'm gonna have some rice. Oh, you'll be okay, just try it. Alright. definitely tasty. Okay, so I was supposed to uh, try it like just try it, you know, for the flavor. But now I'm gonna test the spiciness. Yeah. Just a little first. See how much you can handle. Ooh. That is spicy. That is really spicy. That is good. Yeah, it kind of makes you want it more and more. Like, mm -hmm. it's really hot, but you want to keep going back. It's like, woo! It's spicy. Really spicy. But there's a flavor, you know. You've yeah, got for that. Sure. There's I love the flavor. flavor. Like, of course, the, the sauce. What do you call the sauce, Chef? It's the ghost sauce. All right. It has that really, really intense um, spiciness. But as you go inside the meat, you know, it's really tasty. Yeah, definitely. Really tasty. Juicy. 
You still, get, still get good crunch on the wing, even mm -hmm. though it's been sitting in mm -hmm. the sauce. You know, these are these are the things that I, I always look for in a good chicken wing. Yeah, you know, and it's I, really I, spicy. I don't want soggy. I want heat. I want, you know. Mm -hmm. I can imagine the people eating this. They're like, oh yeah, people love them. I love it. Definitely, yeah. I wanted you to try them because you know. Is one of our really good sellers, and, and, and people have kept coming back for the heat. Yeah, right. How many minutes? You get six wings in six minutes. No drinking for four minutes after. All right, wait, wait. You want me to put the timer on you? <laughs> I've already started. Right. Guys, you know, sometimes when, when, uh, when you say it's spicy, you don't get that flavor, you just get that spice that eats you up yeah but this one's really good guys yeah. i would go back for this it's a building but mm -hmm. you're a bit of a veteran with spicy food i see you're not letting it touch your lips well <laughs> i see people go into it and bite it off and then they just in a whole world of pain yeah but as you can see guys can you see it i'm sweating like a pig right now <laughs> but it is really good it is really good i'm telling you guys it's really spicy but it's really good yeah. Where can you get that? Only here at the brew house, right? Definitely. So, I would say they're the hottest wings in the country right now. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> so I'll throw down the challenge for others to beat me. Yeah. Oh, you've done it. So chef, thank you very much for this treat. I love this and I'm going to eat this uh, at the back where you can't see me. <laughs> would you like to invite our viewers here at yeah. the brew house? So please come to the brew house. We're here at Venice Piazza in McKinley Hill. For reservations, you can call 0917-831-0507. And you can hit us up on Facebook at The Brew House and on Instagram at Brew House Manila. Yeah. Thank okay. you very much. Sorry, sorry. Enjoy. Yeah, I'm enjoying this babies, but it's really spicy. And uh, don't go away because cook it right, we'll be right back.